All right, what is up guys? Vivi back with another video. And uh, today we've got a special video, a um, little bit different than usual. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watches my channel, you know, watches my videos and subscribes and all that stuff. We're, we're really moving up in the subscribers here, which is awesome. Uh, really appreciate you guys. Uh, that's first. Uh, second, um, so me and a friend from Locals, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we, we really want to start doing a podcast. And uh, he has a YouTube channel as well. And he is over at uh, Heart Pirates TCG. And about, this is, this is his YouTube channel that I have on the screen. And about a, about a month ago now, maybe a month and a half ago even, we, we started talking about doing a podcast together, which, which, we're, which we're really considering doing. We're just trying to work things out with it right now. Uh, but we did, he, uh, he, he knows some of the guys from, uh, he's been on the, the podcast over at uh, the Small Hat Crew. Right, the guys, uh, just to bring down my subscriptions over here, it's, uh, where are they at? These guys over here, the uh, Small Hat Crew. So, like I said, he, he knows them, he's talked to them, and he basically uh, set me up and Chris up from Small Hat Crew with our first podcast. So it was it was all three of us, right? Uh, me, Chris, and Joey is the guy's name from Heart Pirates TCG. Now, we don't know uh, Chris like locally, but Joey from Heart Pirates TCG here has run into him against, he's gone against him in tournaments, against Chris in tournaments, and that's kind of how they met and, you know, and, you know, have a relationship that way. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're friends through that means. And I don't, I don't know the other person, uh, Chris, only, only through the videos. Of course, you know, being someone who subscribed to his channel, you know, of, where is he? I had him on here just a second ago. There it is. You know, I, I, of course, I've been subscribed to the Small Hat Crew channel for a long time. I've commented on some other videos. But it was nice being able to get that kind of connection through someone I do know locally, this guy, Joey, from Hard Power CCG, and he set up our first podcast. So real quick, I'm just going to click on the videos here, and, and this is it. This is the, the a podcast, so definitely go check out his channel. I'll leave it in the comment section below, and go listen to the podcast, and you know, definitely sub subscribe to him if you're not, and uh, Chris, if you're, subscribe to Chris and Joey if you're not already, but <laughs> if, if you're subscribed to me or if you're watching my videos, I'm sure you're already subscribed to these guys, but if not, please do. It helps us all out. And, uh, you know, be, be sure to leave a comment, you know, talking about, you know, if you like the podcast or not. And especially on this video right here, you know, if you could go watch the, the podcast on, on that channel and then over here, you can tell me how, how you think it went, you know, on, on this YouTube video. Uh, but yeah, we're looking at doing this more often. It might not always feature Chris from Small Hat Crew, but it might. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how this, how the video is received and how things go and what people want to hear. Uh, but but I, I was very excited to do it. I kind of, I don't think, I didn't talk a whole lot in the video because, you know, these guys have a much bigger platform than me. It was just a privilege to be on the, the podcast with these two guys. Um, so yeah, we, we're just kind of, and, and as far as what the, the, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as what the, the podcast is about, we're just kind of talking about sets three through sets five, just like the thumbnail says there, state of the game, um, sets 3.5 uh, through five, One Piece TCG. We're just rambling and ranting and raving, talking about how unfair Red can, seems to be, you know, and how kind of how unfair Red is at times with certain, uh, <laughs> the way certain cards are in the game. We talk about that. And then we talk about, you know, what's coming in the future for the game and if we have any hope to the future. And they do too. They, they have some hope, but, but at the same time, they Joey and Chris both seemed a little bit, I don't want to say pessimistic, right? Because they, they see that there's potential hope there. and But they see they also see a trend that, that Bandai or whoever's in control of actual the, the actual game development itself, there's a trend towards like okay red is just dominant it's like they know it and it's as if they don't care that's the perception we get over here in the west and that's kind of where they are where, where basically their mindset is please prove us wrong bandai right so we can have hope in the future of one piece tcg um 
I personally, I, I was probably the most positive, right, quote unquote, uh, on in, in that regard of like, uh, I was on the most copium, right? I think is the the, the term people are using now. Where I'm, I'm trying to hang on to hope here. I, I actually do see a lot of hope in a, in the in the future of One Piece TCG because the core game mechanics are so well rounded and well founded, as in the dawn system the way the dawn system is set up the way the leaders are in the game the way the counters happen in battle and the interactions there i think there's just a few things missing that should develop over time and you know as the game gets older and older and more options become available so that more deck possibilities deck building possibilities will be available as well um because as we've seen uh actually at the time of me recording this video right now um <clears throat> a Nami deck just won a championship over in um, OP04 meta, I believe. OP04.5 technically, because they have the ST10 stuff over there already, I believe. I, I could be wrong about that. I'm probably going to be doing a video on that Nami deck eventually. Um, but my, my, my point is this. We are seeing more and more uh, possibilities come out. And people are starting to venture out a little more. Yes, Whitebeard is Whitebeard and Zoro are the most oppressive decks in the format, uh, followed closely by Luffy and Trafalgar Law, just all variants of red, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and it's one of those things where I don't I don't know how well things will go. You know, I, I don't know how long it will take before red can actually or before uh, the other colors can catch up to red. But I do think it's coming soon. I really do think it's going to be coming soon because we're starting to see other possibilities come up like with a, I say red purple, but again, that's kind of like splashing red. But I think, you know, what we've seen with yellow, we've seen some people playing Yamato, Katakuri, of course, we're seeing Nami, Crocodile, Dofi pop up. And once OP04 hits, we're going to see Rebecca. I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that there are going to be some winning lists for Rebecca over in the West, if not more than like a few there might be a lot of rebecca lists over here <clears throat> uh but we'll have to see and same thing with purple green dofi um and and i even i think i was saying in the video that i even think there might be some uh green black isho decks pop up in the west like potentially like we're not sure obviously right but but potentially some um some lists are going to pop up over in the west that didn't pop up over in the east so, but we'll have to see. We're definitely going to have to see how things go. I am optimistic, though. I will say that. I do think, I cannot wait for OP04, personally, because I'm going to be playing straight up blue-black Rebecca control decks. Um, you know, and, and I'll be updating you guys on that as the lists come up. I've got other decks in the work, works right now. Um, let me see. I have a, I have a red-black Garp deck I'm working on currently, and I'm probably tomorrow I'm going to be, I, I, don't quote me on it, but I think tomorrow... <clears throat> or well the next day the next video i release let me say it like that the next video i release is probably going to be on red black garp and it's actually going to be in the style of this prism deck you see on the uh it's the, the video is going to be in the style of this prism uh deck which is going to be like an hour and a half long video on full-on comprehensive deck builder guides you know deck strategies deck building and stuff like that um but that's what i got in the works <clears throat> along with um z and uh Sakazuki. We'll see about Sakazuki. I might just wrap up the comprehensive deck building with Z, but but we'll see what happens. I've got a I've got a lot of thoughts. I got a lot of videos I want to make with you know with limited amount of time, right? So y'all y'all bear with me. Um, but again, uh, thank y'all for listening this long. Of course, of course, I could make a video just <laughs> talking about a podcast. You know, like hey, go check out this podcast. It takes me ten minutes to do that. But I like to leave y'all with, with with stuff to hear from me. I, I want I like to leave each video as an as an update. Because, you know, the shorter the video it is, I don't know, sometimes, this is just me personally, if it's a short video, I'll just listen to it at normal speed, right? Or I, I might still speed it up. But if it's a longer video, like a, an hour long video, 30 minute long video or hour long video or more, I'll just put on 2x speed and listen to it like that. And, and I recommend y'all do that. If some of my videos are too long, I, I see the average watch time of my videos, I think it's somewhere between like five and 10 minutes. I, I don't know the exact time, which I'm super thankful for, right? Like I could not be more thankful for that being the average wait time or the average um, listen time, the average uh, viewer time. But at the same time, just put my videos on 2x speed so that way you can just zoop, just zip right through my videos way faster, right? Because at 2x speed, you see all these videos that are 20 minutes are now 10 minutes. These 50 minute videos, videos are now 25 minutes. These 40 minute videos are 20 minutes. Y'all know what I mean. 
Um, but yeah, so so again, just to keep you guys updated, you know, I think my main focus has always been One Piece TCG for this YouTube. I will at times do things like this uh, game tutorial review. I know these don't get like tons of views as you can see right here. They're not my most popular videos, but I do like to do these game tutorial reviews. I like to keep updates on things like Flesh and Blood and um, and uh, where is it? and Lorcana now. So you haven't done Lorcana video in a while. Here we go down here. Actually, yeah, see, I did one right here, but still, I, I'm going to be, my main focus is One Piece TCG, but I do still like to stay up to date with Lorcana and Flesh and Blood, just because that's a personal thing. It, they are games that I enjoy, and I like the way they are. So, uh, anyway, so y'all bear with me, guys. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me what you guys think of the podcast. And, uh, yeah, you guys are getting off with a, with a short video today. I'm letting y'all, I'm letting y'all off with a short video today. <laughs> but, uh, all right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it, and until next time. Peace.